lifestyle vlogs, hauls, recipes, grocery shopping, couponing, and opinion videos, mostly I would say. Um, and sometimes you will see my son Mason in the videos as well. So that brings me to today's video. I am actually going to be doing a comparison of the Aldi and Bath and Body Works candles. They are almost an identical dupe in my opinion, but I will go through the list of the similarities and the differences, of course, and let you guys know what I think. I hope you enjoy this video. I am super excited to film it and have been wanting to share this information with you for a long time in case you didn't know about the Aldi candles. the two candles I will also show them close up as well but this is the Aldi candle which I got during the springtime and then this is a Bath and Body Works candle which I got last fall and as you can see they are very very similar so I wrote down all of the information about each of them and you guys could be the judge of which candle you prefer but I will let you know my opinion too so let's start with this Aldi candle. It is $3.99. Um, as you guys know, the Bath & Body Works ones are $24.50, I believe, but they also run sales, promotions, and coupons with these. But if you're just going on an average day and there's no sales, they are $24.50. The Aldi candles are always $3.99 in this particular design by Huntington Home. Now the only issue I have is that they are seasonal, so you can't get them all the time, I feel like. At least at my stores, maybe your store always has them in stock, but they are very seasonal and limited in the scents. So this one is Watermelon Spritzer. It smells almost like the watermelon um, lemonade scent from Bath & Body Works, if you've ever smelled that one. But both of these candles are actually soy blend candles, so that is the same. The Aldi one is 14 ounces and the Bath and Body Works is 14.5 ounces. So it's just a little bit more, not too much. The Bath and Body Works candle has a 100% satisfaction guarantee, so it says. I've actually had issues with some of the wicks not burning properly or evenly or just like a scent was really weird once I burned it. So I have actually exchanged candles before. Um, I felt like I was jumping through hoops just a little bit. Like I had to email the corporate and then get their approval and then bring it to the stores and the cashiers would kind of question it. They'd be like, when did you buy this? And I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm just getting around to lighting it now, but I don't like the smell once it's actually lit. So I feel like it was a little bit difficult to do a candle exchange depending on the store. But the Aldi Promise is the twice as nice guarantee that they have. So I've actually tested this out on a product before, but I didn't end up liking it and I returned an unused version of it. So what they did was they replaced the product and gave me my money back. So I feel like that's a little bit better on the return or exchange policy is the twice as nice guarantee versus the Bath & Body Works, um, if you're lucky, they'll switch it kind of thing. Maybe not all the stores are like that, but the one that I went to was like really questioning it and I'm like, it says it on the bottom of the candle, 100% satisfaction guaranteed. So that's what it should be, right? Um, as I was mentioning, the Bath & Body Works candles just have like a plethora of scents styles, colors, all of that really fun stuff. The labels are always adorable. The Aldi candles don't really have um, multiple labels for their scents. It's just one scent, one label. And they'll typically issue, from what I've seen, about four to six scents per season. So the holiday season's coming up, so you can probably expect to see about four to six holiday scents 
coming up. If you've seen more, let me know down in the comments below. I would love to go on the hunt and find some of these $3.99 candles. So they both have the same burning instructions and wick trimming instructions. So I did check that out. Let me see, I have a list here. Then, okay, I, as I was saying, the scents are very limited for the Aldi ones and they don't list the keynote scents. Whereas this flannel candle will list that it has orange peel, patchouli essential oils, and notes of soft musk. So it does let you know all of the scents that are in the candles and the Aldi one doesn't quite do that. Maybe their label will change over time, who knows. Um, the actual physical structure of the candles, the glass is kind of equally as heavy for both, but when it comes to the lids, the Bath and Body Works lid is much heavier than the Aldi lid, and also you'll most likely get a design on your Bath and Body Works one, whereas the Huntington Home one is just kind of standard. But if you do have Bath and Body Works candles that run out, you could always just swap the lids. Nobody would even know if they were in a candle holder, to be honest, they are that much alike. And then I'll show you the inside too of the candles. It appears in this particular one, the wicks are a little bit closer and the wicks are a little bit more spread apart in the Bath and Body Works ones, if you can see. But in my experience personally, the Aldi candle has burned better. It burned evenly the whole time. I didn't have those little like crusties on the wicks that kind of like spark a flame. I know you're supposed to trim your wicks, but let's be honest, do you always get around to doing that each and every time you light your candle? Um, whereas the Bath and Body Works candle doesn't always burn evenly for me and the wicks, like nine times out of 10, get that like black crust on them. And I do try and get that off when I can, but like I said, it's just not an every time thing. So, Here's my take on it. I will absolutely buy the Bath and Body Works candle still. I just love the packaging, the variety of scents, the colors, the schemes that they have. I think that they are adorable, but personally I will not purchase them full price when I know that I can get almost an identical candle for $3.99. So I will go on candle day this year and stack up for the whole year. I just love my candle collection. So I will be buying some Bath & Body Works ones, but at a steeply discounted price, of course. Unless I need to get a gift for someone and I know that they're really into Bath & Body Works candles, then I will just go and get what I think that that person would like. But for me and my house, I just wait for the candle day and stock up them. And then as for the Aldi candles, I will definitely stock up on those too. So one little tip and trick is to know when your Aldi is gonna release the candles. Like look at the ads, um, they'll most likely have that in there, especially around the holidays. They had a pumpkin candle for fall and then they'll most likely have like a balsam candle, a frosted cranberry candle, maybe a few others around the winter time. The springtime, they have like the watermelon spritz one, they had an ocean one in the summer. So you can pretty much bet that each season they're gonna come out with a few of the candles, but check for the ads, of course. But my biggest tip is to go on a Wednesday. A Wednesday is the restock day, and also the new weekly ad comes out that day. Um, so the store is typically putting out new inventory, and that is gonna be your best chance at getting one of the candles. I went for a fall sign at my local Audi on a Wednesday and there was only 10 left by like, I don't know, maybe it was like 11 a.m. And there was a line of six women behind me waiting to get the sign. So anyone who went that Thursday most likely was not gonna get a sign. So definitely try your Audi on a Wednesday so you can get your hands on one of the candles. So I definitely recommend, you know, getting Bath & Body Works if you love it, but if you're up for trying something new, give the Audi candles a go. They are almost identical and they smell really, really good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you tried an Audi candle down below and how you think it compares to Bath & Body Works, or if you have another favorite candle, let me know, I'm always up for trying new ones. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And if you are returning, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.